Hey everybody, welcome to another Good E-Reader video tutorial. This is Marcus. In today's video tutorial, we're going to teach you how to convert ebooks from one format to another using Calibre. Now, the reason why you would find this tutorial useful is because in most cases, you may download ebooks from the internet that are incompatible with your e-reader. So let's say that you download a few EPUB books from the internet but they're not compatible with your Amazon Kindle. You would need to convert it to a format readable by this. In other cases, you may download formats that are incompatible with your Barnes & Noble Nook, a simple touch reader. Or in other cases, you may have new devices like the Skytex Primer Color. And all of these e-readers read different sort of formats, and so Calibre is important because it allows you to convert ebooks from one format to another. It's also a free program, and in this tutorial we will provide links to downloads for this program. So what we're going to do first is once this program is installed and the main stage is open, we're going to click on Add Books and then Add Books from a single directory and then you simply browse your computer to where your books are stored. So I have a book here entitled Chicks Kick Butt and it's by Rachel Kane. You can see here there's the cover art. You can see that the format is in LIT or lit format which is a Microsoft reader compatible format but none of the e-readers I showed you have the ability to read that format. So instead of just giving up on this book and not reading it, I'm going to show you how you can convert this book to an Amazon ready format as well as an EPUB format. What we do is once the book is here, you would want to highlight it and then right click and then there's an option here called convert books. Now we want to convert this book individually. So you can see here that the input format is LIT. And here's the output format. By default, it's EPUB, but I can click on this arrow and see a wide array of choices, such as FB2, HTML, Mobi, PDF, text, zip, and a whole lot more. I want to convert it to an EPUB file. You can also note here that it says the title of the book, the authors, the author's sort, the publisher, tags, and the series name. You can change one or all of these. In a lot of cases, books you may download from the internet may have hyphens in between each word, so you might want to delete that. Or the word or author or book name may be misspelled, so you can change that as well. So what I'm going to simply do is click OK. And you can see here that it says Jobs 1 and it's processing. And what this is doing is it's converting the LIT or lit book to an EPUB format. Sometimes it takes a few seconds, sometimes a few minutes. It all depends on the amount of images inside the book, how long the book is, your computer, how fast the processor is. There's a lot of extenuating factors, so don't be uh, afraid if the process takes a few minutes. So we're done already, and you can see that the format is in EPUB format now. It's also available in lit format. So now that it's an EPUB format, it will work in my Barnes & Noble A Simple Touch Reader. It will work in my Skytex Primer Color. It would also work in your Kobo Touch, Barnes & Noble Nook Color, and most other e-readers in the current marketplace, including Jetbooks, uh, by Taco, Allure Tech e-readers, and many, many, many more. So what we want to do is convert it also to a format that would be compatible with my Amazon Kindle Special Offers Edition, as well as any other Kindles such as the Kindle DX, Kindle 3G, and Kindle Wi-Fi. So what I'm going to do again is right-click and convert eBooks, then convert eBooks individually. So again, it's defaulted to EPUB. The best Kindle format for Calibre is Mobi. So now that we want to select Mobi, and we're going to click OK again, and it's going to continue this job. So by the end, this ebook is not just going to be in one format, but it'll be in three formats. So it'll be in the original LIT format, it'll also be in the EPUB format, and once it's done converting, it'll be in the Mobi format. Once that is done, we'll be able to save it to our computer, and then we'll be able to 
copy them to our e-reader. Now, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm not going to copy these books to my e-readers because I filmed tutorials in the past that showed you how to load e-books and every one of these e-readers that I showed you today. We also have 50 other video tutorials that show you how to load e-books and various other e-readers. So, if you want to know more about how to load ebooks in your particular e-reader, please, please check out our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash user slash good e-reader or you can simply visit our blog at goodereader.com slash blog and not only do we have ebook loading tutorials but we also have tons of reviews, previews on the latest tablets, e-readers, and we also have news on ebooks, digital publishing, independent authoring, and so on. So, Mobis unfortunately take a little bit more time to process because uh, the Amazon format is a proprietary format, so it involves different encoding than, say, the EPUB or if I wanted to simply convert it to a text format. PDFs also take a while too. So, this job is done, and what we're going to do now is right click and click Save to Disk and then we're going to save this book to a disk and I'm just going to select my desktop because it's the easiest uh, place to put it for the sake of this tutorial but you can feel free to copy them wherever you want. So you can see here that we have many directories and here is the directory for our book Chicks Kick Butt. If we click here we see there's an EPUB file. This is the JPEG cover art. Here's the original LIT format, which is Microsoft Reader, and here's the Mobi book. You can see here it's a Mobi book. So this book, again, Mobi is for Kindle, EPUB is pretty well for everything else, and Lit was an exclusively Microsoft Reader format, and again, here's the cover art. So hopefully you found this tutorial useful. For Goody Reader, my name is Marcus, and everybody take care.